Bibliophiles of the Internet. My name is Adriana and today I'm here to do the first installment of my new Manga Monday series. I'm not going to claim that I came up with the idea for Manga Monday, obviously it's not very original of me, but I'm here to do it. Basically I want to distinguish myself as a booktuber who not only reads and loves novels but reads and loves manga as well and I feel like I don't get to talk about my love for manga as much as I would like to as often as I would like to so why not create a space for that. The idea here is that from time to time on some Mondays, not every Monday, I will come to you with a new video in which I recommend one of my favorite manga series. So with that in mind, let's get to it. The first series I want to highlight on Manga Monday is Orange by Takano Ishigo. I thought this would be a great series to start off with because it's been very popular as of late. It was recently serialized in English and this first omnibus was published in January, so it's very of the moment. This is a shoujo manga, so it is primarily focused on romance, drama, angst, but at the same time there are comedic elements, there are surprising moments of lightness, and it's also a fantastic celebration of friendship and platonic love, so there is a bit of everything. The story itself is mostly contemporary with some elements of magical realism. The main character, Takamiya Naho, one day receives a letter from her future self. She's skeptical, of course, but these letters detail the mundane ongoings of her day-to-day -day life, and once she realizes that everything is happening just as the letters describe, she starts to believe. Naho's future self really only has one main concern, one request, and that is that Naho somehow changed the fate of one of her classmates, Naruse Kakuru, who in Naho's future has actually died because he's killed himself. The letters start to arrive the very first day that Naho ever meets Kakuru, and future Naho has a lot of regrets regrets about the way she conducted herself in the past. She feels like she made a lot of mistakes with Kakaru and didn't do enough to show him how much she cared about him and how much she ultimately loved him. So she is instructing present Naho on how to do things differently to avoid those same mistakes and regrets and how to do something to show Kakaru that she really cares for him and that he means a great deal to her so that hopefully in the future somehow that will mean that Kakaru lives. I really love this series. I went into it very skeptically, thinking it was just going to be typical shoujo manga fair, very predictable, cheesy, melodramatic, but it was really none of that and I was very pleasantly surprised by how heartfelt and how genuine this series is overall. Besides Naho and Gakaru, there's actually an entire group of friends that is very heavily featured in this series and I feel like Takano Ishigo did a fantastic job of really exploring that group dynamic because I felt like they were all real people. I felt like a really knew them and I felt like I was part of that group as well so that was a really great feeling. As you might imagine this series also tackles some very difficult topics like depression, suicidal thoughts, suicide, grieving, but at the same time there are also some surprising moments of lightness as I said. There are moments that are great expressions of friendship and love. There are some really strong moments within this group of friends and there's also just moments that will give you butterflies and make you feel good and make you laugh. There are scenarios that are just fun. There are comedic elements, like I said, so I think it's very well balanced in that way. This story will take you through an entire series of emotions and that's what I really appreciated about it. That's why I really responded to it because at times it's uplifting and at times it's devastating. So you're constantly wondering, why did I do this to myself? While I do think that this series may somewhat over-romanticize the healing powers of friendship, I do think it's very important in the sense that it shows value in acts of validation, both big and small. And what I mean by that is showing someone that you see them, you notice them, they're not just going through something on their own. You appreciate their existence, they've made a difference in your life, showing that person that their life has meaning and has made an impact. There are so many ways to show someone that you care, that you respect them, that they are important to you, and I think that's really what this series is all about. Plus, this series is very short, only five volumes long, so it's very achievable to read, and I think Takano Ishigo does some fantastic work in that short amount of time, exploring and developing some very complex emotions, and that's something that I really like. So even though this may not be a quote-unquote perfect series, I think it is a worthwhile series, and that's why I would highly recommend it. 
So those were my thoughts on Orange by Takano Ishigo. In the comments down below, please let me know if you have also read this manga series yourself or if you would like to in the future because I have a lot to say. So look out for my next Manga Monday video, but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this one. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will catch you on the flip side of the page. Bye!